morning guys and Merry Christmas. I'm so happy to be home for Christmas this year, 2022. The entire month of December just flew by. I feel like I just got home from my contract, but it's already been three weeks. And honestly, this entire year in general has just flown by, so it's kind of hard to believe that it's already Christmas and soon it will be 2023. But like I said, very happy to be home and spend Christmas with Coco and my parents. My brother is out of town. He is actually with Abby's family, so he's not here this Christmas, which is a bummer. But my dad's side should hopefully be coming over later. We have been getting a blizzard the last couple days, so plans yesterday changed. We didn't end up having company over. Hopefully today they are able to make it over, but we'll play it by ear. But let's head downstairs, get some coffee and get the day started. from Dominican Republic. They're like handmade. Really? I saw them and I was like, oh, oh, those are gorgeous. Yeah, they are really pretty. It's a surprise for all of us. It is. After I grab them, I was like, yeah. I was wrapping them. I was like, I don't remember what I put anywhere. What do we got here? The one you saw, right? Is it? Yeah, this is the exact one I saw. Oh, that's Thanks. That's really cute, and I like the a little, slit in the back. A kick, what do you call it? Kick slit or? I think it's the black. Is
<laughs> and snares. <laughs> morning essential. I love these glasses. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Breakfast is served. We've got sausage Benedict. I've got impossible sausage patties, which I'm really excited to try. because our plans were canceled or rescheduled, I should say. My parents and I have literally just been chilling. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> We've been on the couch pretty much all day watching football and just chilling. I've been editing a little bit and it's not like we can go anywhere anyways because the snow. I did debate going outside and playing in the snow but I decided against it because the wind picked up a lot and it's just, it's nasty. And, and today it feels like two degrees i think either way we've been hanging out it is coming up on dinner time so my dad is gonna make dinner yet again and i thought maybe i should put a little effort into my appearance as i've been on the couch all day i'm not gonna go as all out as yesterday because you know i'm just not in the mood <laughs> i'm just gonna throw a little something something on to look more presentable and then i'm gonna get out of my pajamas because it's literally 5 15. For the rest of the evening though, I don't really know what we have planned. It's just the three of us, so we might do the same thing as yesterday. Maybe we'll play a game, maybe we'll watch a movie. I'm fine with that. I actually really need this, because as much as I say that I need time to relax and recover, I never actually follow through. Like there's always something I can be doing. So unless life forces me to just chill and not go anywhere, then I just, I keep going like the Energizer Bunny. So this has been exactly what I think my body needed. So yeah, this, these last two days indoors, or three days should I say, have been really, really nice. As much as I love traveling, it is exhausting. Yes, I did live on the ship and I was planted there. So I did have like a home to come back to at the end of the day, but it's just not the same, you know? Like when you're in a different environment every single day, it is exciting, it's fun, it's amazing, I love it, but it does wear it out of you over time and it was a really long contract, so. To just have a couple days where there's no agenda and I can literally do nothing and just sit on a couch has been really nice and I don't think that I've ever really done that in my life. Like the only other time I've done that is either when I'm super sick like when I had COVID or when I had hip surgery because I couldn't walk and I was on crutches. Those are probably the only two times that I've really just chilled and done nothing for an entire day. All right, makeup is done. Hair, I'm hoping to not restyle. I've had it in that claw clip like all day. So let's see. Actually, it's not too shabby. We went really, really basic, but it's just a cozy night in. I have decided on an outfit. It's very casual and comfortable. I got my little cream pleather pants from Princess Polly, brown bodysuit, and little necklace. That's that's it. 
and I've just thrown my hair back because the front pieces were being a little difficult. I feel so much better getting ready though. We've got a bone of brick. Mom got it as a Christmas gift. I've never seen this size though. I've only seen the like the full boxes, so this is a nice size. Yeah. Just a few more minutes and then dinner will be ready. How is it? I haven't tried yet. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Very good. I've never had a Boda Brick. Now you have. That looks spectacular. It does. Wow, I haven't had Alfredo in so long. My dad made me lobster Alfredo. How delicious does that sound? Cheers. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Cheers. it has been another Christmas for the books. I'm so happy that I was able to be home this year for Christmas and celebrate with my parents. Even though it would have been nice to celebrate with the rest of my family, we are rescheduling. So hopefully this week and next week we will see them and get together and do our little Christmas party then, even though it's not on the exact day. It's still gonna be fun. For the rest of the evening, I'm just gonna relax and chill with my parents. We're gonna watch a movie. So I wanted to end the vlog here, but I wanna give you a really quick little Christmas haul and show you a few of the things that I got. This goes completely without saying, but Christmas is not about the gifts. It is a nice part of it because personally, I really love to give gifts, like getting to shop for somebody and watch the reaction as they open it is the best part. But most importantly, Christmas is about family and getting to spend time with your loved ones. So just throwing that out there. But my parents did give me quite a few nice things. So I just wanted to quickly show you. So in no particular order, first thing I got is this gorgeous like blush pink throw blanket for my bed. It is so soft, so cute, so comfy. I wish I could bring this on a contract with me, but it's probably too big and too heavy. Going along with those cozy vibes, I did get this like teddy quarter zip. So it has a hood, some drawstrings, and a little quarter zip as you can see, but it's so soft. Feels like you're wearing a blanket. So I'm very, very excited about this one. Next up, I did get a restock of my favorite perfume. I wore it all last contract and sadly I ran out. So this is the Scandal Perfume. If you've never smelled it, go to like Macy's and smell it because it is delicious. <laughs> I also got this little bracelet. It just has the daintiest little airplane in the middle and it's a gold chain. So cute. This was like a perfect little gift and I love gold and it's made in Italy, so it's a score. I got a portable charger for my phone. I don't know why it took me so long to get one of these, but I'm really, really grateful for this. This is gonna be so handy when I'm traveling. Because I'm in pain a lot and sore a lot, my parents got me a heating pad, which is gonna be so useful for next contract. I borrowed Susie's a lot last contract, which was really nice. So now I have my own, I don't have to bother anyone. I did also get a new bathing suit, which I'm really excited about. This one is so cute. It's like a little floral print. And I wanna say that it came in a bunch of different colorways. But this is the one I got. So really excited to break this in in Florida. I got a few clothing items. So the first is this really nice green sweater from Zara, a little cream like high neck mock neck blouse which is going to be really nice for smart casual i got this like body contouring or like form fitting top which is really cute next up is this little top this is going to be cute for the caribbean i got a cute little over the shoulder clear bag that says bill's mafia on it i finally got my own yoga mat and it's so cute it's like a cheetah print or like a leopard print i don't really know the difference but it's like this mauvey color and if i can fit it in my luggage i will be bringing it for my next contract and then i got a few little hair things so i have some of these like coil scrunchies those are always good to have and i got some really pretty hair clips like claw clips so the one is pearls and the other one is like gems my mom and i also got a gift certificate for a day spa which i'm really excited about we've been before and it's so so nice and then my dad did give me new luggage and they're so cute they're in the basement so i'm just gonna insert like a little picture of it but now i'm going to be stylish when i go to next contract so yeah that's my little haul but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you had a wonderful christmas if you celebrate if you don't happy hanukkah happy kwanzaa happy weekend if you don't celebrate any of the holidays I mentioned, but thank you so much for your support this past year. It really means the world to me and have no idea what an impact you have made on my life. So 
just thank you so much. I'm so excited to bring you along for the next adventures and can't wait to see what this upcoming year has in store. So I'm going to go chill with my parents and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.